Hi, this is Gala from Galu Reports, and today we talk about Google Sheets formulas. This is a case when you have uh, columns with dates and you need to extract month from these columns. This is a really common case for me and I do it regularly and I know several options how to do it and let's observe all of them. First of all, the easiest way we have month function. It is just month and uh, that's it. And we have only one argument where we add our month. In this case, we will have a short number, uh, only one number, so February will be two. Um, that is it. But prons of this method, that month number will be number. Second option, it is convert this number to text. For example, if you want to see not just two, you want to see zero two, zero one, zero seven, uh, and so on numbers, uh, you can convert them to text. In this case, you can use formula text, then add our cell with month and convert it to months format. Super easy. And next formal, next two formulas, plus minus the same and uh, option three, we just use in our text formulas, we use instead of two mm, we use three and in, as a result, we have short month name. You can see I applied this for the whole date range. Uh, option four, we use four letters instead of three and uh, as a result, we have long month name. So all this, okay, first option is number, other three options uh, convert this number to text uh, with different format, and uh, options five and six a bit different, but more flexible. And option five, we use index formula, and uh, we can create custom date range. In our case, it is N2, N13, let's go there. Uh, this is date range, and I added month numbers here manually. So if you want to use not February, but you want to use something like, you want to use some custom names, uh, February Carnival, you can change it and you will see here is that it is Carnival. Uh, but okay, February. Yeah. Um, so this is one option. We use index formula and uh, we put so we extract month from our date and find this month number that we have in column B in uh, in this date range. So that is it. We found position. Uh, okay, and the last option that I want to present you uh, this is array formula. So in all other columns. What's the difference? Uh, for example, if I can remove this one and we will have here blank, so I need to extend this formula for all rows. E with array formula, I write it only on the second row of our Google Sheets and uh, here, yeah, I just need to run it once. Uh, let's observe this formula. And in this case, uh, I said if data range A2A is blank, yeah, let's use blank. If it is not blank, uh, let's use the lookup formula. And here we can, actually we have two options here. We can use the same uh, date range that we created here in column N. We can do link to this date range, or even we can write it inside the formula, uh, this date range, and uh, yeah, let's, so we extract month from our date, and uh, if number is one, it's means January, number two, February, and so on. Again, if we we can change here and uh, use custom, some custom options if we need it. So that is it. So we have several options how to do it. Use that you think is better for your case. If you know other options how to extract month from date, you can send me, is, 
this in the comment. It will be really nice to hear other, to know other options. I shared what I use in my practice. Hope you like it. Um, please give me like and uh, thumb up if you like this video. And see you soon.